So transportation and mobility is also a topic that we should really look holistically. We should uh, look at it through different lenses, through different sectors. There are many studies about this, uh, how to change behavior, uh, but I think one of the most important aspects is affordability. For people with lower incomes, how do you make sure that the investments that you are making in your city are equally um, uh, profitable for, for all the people? By, by the end of the day, uh, mobility is, uh, is about moving people and not vehicles. Uh, really and and since uh, the bicycle takes up a tiny little space compared to a car with one person in I believe we need to better illustrate the potential for moving people as efficiently and as sustainable as as possible people um, saying that they know uh, which type of transport is more sustainable but they still choose to have a car because it's more comfortable it's easier when you have children. There are a lot of reasons to, to choose a car. Um, but they are basically saying if the government would uh, be more um, steering us towards the right choices, then we would make another choice. All cities and all countries have a, a baseline, common baseline problems and, and all solutions uh, have uh, some part which is replicable to all of the, the, the major part of the, the cities. But then you have to, to fine tune the solution to your local, to your local uh, conditions. Uh, the peer-to-peer -peer learning, share the good examples. Often it's even better when the cities share the best practices and really uh, we, we can help them, the cities, to find each other. If we, if we better can show the public uh, facts and, and data and modeling scenarios, it will, would help us to faster adapt a public net zero mindset, I believe.